12,000 paper, wrapping paper, that we used to use in the mill for wrapping calendar rolls. This is my cutter, and yeah, very simple to play, no moving parts. All right, all I do is slide the paper underneath there, let her drop down on the floor. And, okay, my 5 and 5 eighths width sheet that I want, I just line it up with the lines that I got here. That's how long the tube is. Then I take my my knife, cut. There's one. I'll make another one here. And here's another cut. Yeah, there there's two. That's good enough. Take this. Now, oh, once I get 30 or 40 of them made, I get my my trimming board out of there. And now we got to trim the sheets to length. Take my cutoff board here. I don't know what they call this. Trimming board? Trimming board? All right. When I roll a tube, I like to watch this edge. All right. This has to be square with this edge. So all I do is... I'm going to trim it to the length now. I'm going to take some off of both sides. That's one side. I flip it over. And I got to get my measuring stick here. All right, I, I put a screw down with this one. But anyway, uh, I put it up against here. <coughs> right here is my line. I mark it. Oh, there's my trimming stick. Then I cut it to length. Alright, now that one's done. And this is the original edge here. I'll trim this one down one more time. Uh, one time. There. Flip it over. And cut this one. All right. <coughs> there. Now we got we got two sheets. Now the next step is to taper these edges so that the in the inner wrap, the inner wrap here, and the outer wrap here meet. Now this here is the outer wrap, and if you look inside here, you won't be able to see that. But right here is the outer wrap, and when you look inside of here, here's the inner wrap. Well, they both line up perfectly. If they if they were overlapped a little bit, that wouldn't matter because they're both tapered. And if you get the taper just right, you shouldn't have any bump right there, okay? Anyway, here's how I do that. Got a piece of white ash wood right there, and I like to put a little curvature in the paper. I put it down here, and here's a 80 grit um, emery paper, and it's, it's pretty heavy duty stuff, mounted on a stick, and what I do here is I'll paper that about 3 eighths to an inch, or a half inch. Now I've got it tapered from here to here, probably evenly, all right? Now I'm going to try to get just on the edge here and get that edge a little sharper. All right. Now this is the edge that goes into the groove on the on the on the arbor, and what I'm going to do is, is just kind of taper it down. And when I hold it up to the light, you can't see any. You can just see that it's a little bit tapered right in here. Right there on the, on the very edge is pretty tapered. That's the start edge in the groove. Now I flip it over, do the same. This will be the outside edge, and I'm going to taper this down almost to uh, cigarette paper thickness, okay? Now you can see the fibers tearing off of there. This is long fibered paper, good strong paper. All right. Now I'm going to concentrate more right on the very outer edge. 
them and get that really nice and thin and you'll see it when I hold it up to the light. And you only do this by experience of how much sanding you feel when looking at it. All right. Now we'll try to hold it up to the light. There, you see how lighter, lighter color it is? Pretty, pretty thin. I don't know if you can see that yeah. or not. But anyway, that, that's a very, very feathered edge. All right. Now, now we're going to take, oh, go over here and roll the tube. Okay. I got a, this is the arbor. It's a one inch arbor. Throw the hole in here and I put a groove in here and that groove is about 15 thousandths wide, I think, and it's 90 thousandths deep. Okay. And chuck it up here in the lathe. And uh, we'll get the tailstock end in it, snug it up good. All right, this is all set here. I've got this set probably at a couple of degrees to get rid of that wrinkle when I press down on the board that I'll show you to keep it from wrinkling. I gotta put it in the back here. Okay. Gotta get the paper started. Sometimes, sometimes it can be a little problem. I'm having a problem now. I don't know why. Because you have I got the right. Oh, I got the wrong end. In. This is the this is the finished end. This is thicker now, and that's why it'll go into this groove a lot easier. You'll notice that 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 little fine edge didn't go in there at all. Oh, come on. There we go. I move it out, out of the hole so I can, out of the groove so I can make sure that it's all the way in there. Then I, I push it down. I pull tight. Rotate it forward. Then I flatten that groove. And then I just give a, a little twist. Now I've got more than one wrap on it. Now I take my support board, keeping pressure on that paper at all times so it doesn't come out of that groove. And I pull it nice and tight, then I back it up. Now you can see the, the former underneath there. And uh, put it in gear. Now I hope this goes on okay. It's not warmed up at all, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of glue. I got a little rubber, a little rubber spatula here. It's quarter inch thick rubber. I don't know what the name of it is, but uh, that's that's what I spread my glue on with. And this probably takes the most time because you got to work it into the paper. And i got to have enough time as I'm rolling it before it packs up. But what I like to do is squish this on there until I can feel it starting to drag a little bit where it's starting to set up. And I have to have a good even coat. And then I add a little extra glue on it so it runs ahead of the, the roller or the roll as it's ro as the tube as it's, it's rolling up so that if I, I've got a little bit that I can spread around I'll show you all right I got pretty much now I like to wet my fingers just a little bit grab this paper pull it tight and start pulling on it now I'm pushing down on it now, now I'm really adding a lot of pressure All right, I back up. There's that extra glue. Now we know we got glue all the way across. And 
this I'll have to work down into the paper good. And I want that edge to stay down. I can feel it starting to drag a little bit. back in here. Now I'm going to roll it forward, catch it underneath there, and I really pry on it. And I'm just going to move it slightly forward, bring it around. Okay, that edge is sitting down good. All right, I take it out. I press down on here quick to make sure that that edge stays down. All right, take it out. Now uh, here's a very important step. Here, grab a hold of this and take this out of here. I gotta do this quick while that glue is still damp. All right, this is my rolling board. Now this will roll any air bubbles or any uneven glue thickness that was laid down on that paper. And you can feel any out around us on that tube or through this board. If it feels very, very smooth, you know you've got a good, a really good tube. Now what I do is I press the tube off of the the ram or the uh, the arbor. And now what I all I've got left is is uh, gluing this little bitty gluing this little bitty lip right here where the uh, paper was stuck in the uh, the arbor and what I do is I got a piece of now you've heard of this before um, doctor blades this is a piece of doctor blade that I made and I just fold that back a little bit fold this back a little bit take a little glue and I work it and you can feel it when you tip it like this and drag it you can see you can feel that it's it's all the way down to the bottom all right so what's your glue mixture how much water do you put in your glue uh not much uh probably a half a tea a half of a quarter of a teaspoon now here's what I do, I take a, one of these ink pens, I fold that lip down, and now here's another straight arbor that's actually almost the same size as the actual rammers that'll be used in this. It's a little smaller because these are going to shrink anyway, but now you can see here it, it doesn't, doesn't go through at all. I gotta bump it in there. Now here's the last. The second last step. Now this will <coughs> make that little that little flap of paper in there stick. Okay, we're here, Ron. Feel that tube once and uh, get it in the light once and uh, just show what it looks like. Nice. Do I have to do something else? 